guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Pam and on this episode, we're getting ready to make smooth Southern sweet tea. There is a secret ingredient that should be put in all sweet tea. It's the ingredient that makes us wanna go back and get more tea. It's the ingredient that makes us wanna have that sweet tea from McDonald's, the sweet tea from restaurants. When we go out and order it, we like, oh my goodness, I need to have my sweet tea. I'm going to reveal what you need to be putting in your sweet tea and just how to make it. And if you wanna learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, we are back. Let's go over our ingredients. And as always, I'll have them down in the description. Okay. First of all, you're going to need some tea. You can use any kind of tea, but I have some black tea. You're going to need four to six bags, depending on the size. My bags are a little bit larger than the typical tea bags, so I'm only going to use four. You're going to need some sugar in here. I have boiling hot water. I also have some ice water or some very cold water sitting in my refrigerator staying cold. You know we're going to need our lemon and we're going to need our secret ingredient that we'll get to as well. You will need a pitcher. It is good to have a pitcher that is heat proof. And if you're not sure if your pitcher is heat proof or if you just wanna be on the safe side, make sure, you, make sure you temper your pitcher. And that's what I'm getting ready to do. You'll also need to cover this up. Mine obviously does not have a top to it. So I'm going to be using some plastic wrap to um, cover it with. So in order to temper your glass, the only thing you want to do is run it under hot water. You want to start the water off cooler or warm and let it heat up under that running water until your pitcher is very warm to the touch. That way you'll ensure that when you pour this hot boiling water into it, it won't crack. So I like to be on the safe side. I always temper my jars or my glasses before I pour boiling water in it. So I'm gonna go over to the sink, temper mine, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and I have actually tempered my glass so it should be fine now for pouring this hot boiling water in it. So the first thing you wanna do is put your tea bags into your pitcher. After you have that, go ahead and pour in your boiling hot water. And then we're going to cover it up and let it steep for about 15 minutes. And if you can cover it up with something else, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to put this plastic wrap on here and cover it up that way. So I'm going to sit this to the side so we can get our plastic wrap out. Let me get that out, cover it up, sit it to the side and let it steep. Once it steeps, then we'll be back to go ahead and finish our tea up. All right, we'll be back. While your tea is steep, steeping, while your tea is steeping, go ahead and slice up your lemon if you're going to use it. But what is sweet tea without lemon? Oh my goodness. If you've got any seeds in these slices, you want to remove those so you won't have seeds all down in your iced tea. Okay, it is time for us to finish up our delicious smooth southern sweet tea. Oh my goodness, this has been steeping for about 15 minutes. So next we're going to go in with our secret ingredient, the one thing everyone has been waiting for. It's baking soda, a pinch of baking soda. It takes that bitterness out of it. And that's why the sweet tea is so fabulous in all these places. Do not forget that. Now we're gonna add in our sugar. And we're going to stir this up until it is completely dissolved. You want to make sure that sugar is dissolved as well as the baking. Make sure this is good and dissolved. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Just sweet enough. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let me stop messing around. Go ahead and pour this water in here. Oh, and I am wasting. Oh, I'm wasting. Let me get something. I'll be right back. 
had to get a towel and clean that up. I don't know why I'm wasting so much, but let me put this towel down here just in case. Oh, I don't know why, why, why? Let me pour this on in here. Oh, this is a hot mess, guys. Okay, do not waste your cold water like I did. Sit this over here. Okay, I don't know why I was messing up with that so much. So we're gonna still give it a good stir, good stir. Okay, so we're gonna put our ice in here. I like to go in at least with one of my lemon slices down below. Another one. And my last one's on top. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. Now, I, I can't waste my tea. I can't waste my tea. So, let's go ahead and pour it in here nicely. There we go. There we go, there we go. Ooh, oh my goodness. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely amazing. Again, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Oh my goodness, give the video a thumbs up and share it out so everybody can make sweet tea. Let's taste it. Mm. Oh my goodness. Whew. This is so refreshing, so delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, cheers. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Have a safe day. Blessings to all. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Delicious.